Thank you, Stefano, for a very nice introduction. I would like to join Stefano to welcome all of you. And first and foremost, I would like uh, to thank you for being here with us, our president, Mario Monti, our rector, Andrea Sironi, the managing director, Bruno Pavesi, and the management representatives of the university, the faculty members, the distinguished speakers, alumni and alumnae. Thank you very much indeed for being here with us. I could feel the energy among all of you while coming here, so I'm sure it will be a very nice day for all of you. Now, in uh, my 10 minute speech, I will be speaking about uh, the Global Bocconi Alumni Association, and uh, I will be talking about why a global network matters. Uh, it does matter first for us as alumni, because it's a network of people. It's truly social capital for all of us. We believe it's also an asset for the university, because we contribute to develop the reputation of the university. And it's an asset for the corporates and institutions where we do work, because uh, through our networking activities, we provide support for recruiting of talents. And uh, as our mission says, our ambition is to be a community of people acting in accordance with Bocconi values and culture, and therefore promote development, growth, and a better society. Now, which ones are the key words of our community? Let me start from internationalization. We believe we have to be, we want to become more and more a truly international global community. Our ambition is to be home for alumni of, very, of every nationality. We like to support alumni wherever they come from and wherever they move after graduation to work and live. If you think, these days, more than 20% of Bocconi graduates uh, get employed in places other than Italy. And wherever they go, there will be a BAA chapter to welcome and support them. So we aim to build a truly open, cross-cultural, mobile, but still very cohesive community of people capable of being citizens of the world. Now, next is networking, such as today. What does it mean? It means uh, to build a system of relationships based on common values and culture, but also based on high quality content and sharing of experience, in addition to being a pleasant place where to be and develop uh, personal relationships. Now, the value of networking is on leveraging each other's knowledge and such as today, uh, this is really part of our continuous learning experience. Next come placement. What I mean is that uh, we as alumni can, uh, can leverage on our network uh, in order to promote placement of the best Bocconi graduates and MBAs and therefore contribute to the success of our university and support talented students. Last but not least, more and more, we are committed to raise financing. Why? For three good reasons. We believe we have to be an active player to support the strategy of the university to be financially independent. Next, we think we can provide support in funding strategic investments in tangible and intangible assets, meaning knowledge, research, chairs, and campus facilities. Finally, we do like the idea of engaging in a good cause, i.e. to provide scholarships to gifted and talented students who need the financial support. Now, not uh, by chance, all of these words come together into one key overarching concept, which is reputation. This is uh, what uh, others granted to us, so it's a result of our activities, but is a very important intangible asset uh, 
uh, to our benefit and therefore as a consequence to the benefit of our university, I think. Now, all of the above, I think, uh, has supported the development of our association. And I think we are on the right track. Certainly, we can do more. There is more potential to be exploited. But uh, I'd like to share with you where we are coming from. Five years ago, the association counted 2,000 members, while uh, year-end 2014, we were as many as uh, 12,500. Even more important, we have built a leadership team, meaning people who have engaged with active commitments, and I explain you in a minute what they have committed to. We now can count on a team of 187 leaders who mobilize groups around classes of age, areas of cultural interest, geography in Italy and globally. Now, this leadership team every year delivers some 300 events. As I said, not just in Milan and across Italy, but across our 50 international chapters. All of these events are organized by our leadership team who act like the brain and the arm at the same time. So I would like to thank the leadership team, of which we have many representatives here, and I'd like to thank Stefano Donati, who has really masterminded this event uh, together with his uh, steering committee. Now, this is uh, to say that uh, the value of our network is uh, in sharing experience and leveraging on each other's professional knowledge. Now, these events uh, yearly involve uh, approximately 15,000 participants, and we have 30,000 alumni who are connected via social media to our uh, organization. Um, coming now to the global conferences, such as today, this is uh, an idea which was generated by our leaders in one of our yearly leadership forum. It came truly from the bottom thanks to an environment which promoted innovation. Some alumni, such as many who are here in the room today, had the innovative idea that the university and the association should go closer to where alumni are, reversing the traditional paradigm which normally provides for alumni to go back to the alma mater. And for this reason, we had the first global conference in Singapore in 2013. That was really a beta test, release 0.1. The go live was in New York a year ago, and now in London, we are completing the first cycle of global conferences here in Europe, in the heart of Europe. Now, I can say that this is a convincing proposition and therefore now we plan every year to have at least one global conference in different continents and in rotating cities to over and over again go where our alumni are. And tonight, tonight it will be announced where the next global conference will take place in 2016 in the Far East. Now, why have we chosen London? Now, it perhaps, it's perhaps a fairly uh, simple question which has uh, an obvious answer. Uh, London is actually the largest labor market for Bocconi graduates and MBAs. Uh, more than 2,000 Bocconi alumni live and work in London and in the UK and as many as 220 corporations and financial institutions have hired freshly graduated Bocconi students. Therefore, I can say that London and the UK are truly homeland for Bocconi alumni. Now, in closing, an event such as today is truly the evidence of how we like to make our mission real. 
if you allow me to read this sentence, is an abstract from our mission statement. The Bocconi Alumni Association aims to create a community of alumni which through projects, activities, study and exchanges contributes to the development and enhancement of the university, its students and society in general. So let me say that it's really you who make our mission come real. And for this reason, I thank all of you, the distinguished speakers, the organizers, and the participants to be here today. Uh, I wish you to take the most of the day, and I thank you very much for listening. So now let me invite the director, Andrea Sironi, to join me on the podium. Thank you very much indeed.